this and that and what the fuck else, episode 89. Fortunately, I've got some light tonight and uh, it's hot and humid in the low felt, thunderstorms around and the power will be going in the next hour and a half. So, this day was an interesting day. I have seen a lot of talk about that execution of those 10 Russian prisoners of war. Seems like some international operators are now taking note of it. And then I've seen a very disturbing thing about Ukrainian Zotsi's activity in Italy. And I have to accept that uh, the Europeans didn't listen when the Arabs warned them about all the weapons being thrown into the Ukraine. People must not make a mistake. The West is labeling those people as new Nazis, as if they are something new. They're not. They are Tarabret Zazis. And those people, we have seen what they've done previously, and they will do it again. And uh, I see many reports and videos and things of what they are doing. And it is absolutely shocking. But the Europeans did not listen. And the recent vote in the UN, the uh, world voted to declare the Nazis as dog shit, what they are. But NATO, all the NATO countries voted against that resolution. That tells you a lot. But the Europeans are in for a hell of a surprise. The Americans are sitting there on their continent and they are laughing at the Europeans. The Europeans are destroying themselves. But they do it willingly. The unfortunate reality is that the Europeans don't have le a, a leadership. European leaders. They don't have European leaders. They've got a lot of American puppets. And that's it. Newcon puppets. But they are going to pay for it. And the people is unfortunately going to suffer. But there are many instances in history where the people sorted this type of crap out and uh, they will have to do it again. Let me start this one again with a little bit of art. This is something that I saw on Twitter and it is really well done. I like the composition, I like it. The artist is very good. Look at it. Think about it, enjoy it, and then we get to South Africa and our president. And listen to this absolute crap. Broad-based black economic empowerment is necessary if we are to create an inclusive economy that is able to grow, innovate and realize its full potential. What the fuck is he talking about? 30 years down the line, 130 laws discriminating against me as a white man. I'm part of 4% of the population. And he says it is necessary if we are to create an inclusive economy. For fuck's sake, if they couldn't create it in 30 years, how the hell, how long do he, does he still think it's going to take? This man is off his fucking rocker and they all sitting with their hands in the BEE tin to steal as much as possible without deserving it or working for it. And that's the reality. The whole economy has been telling them the BEE is a bullshit story and it is crippling the country, but they don't have fucking ears. And then we get to this. The United States, United Kingdom, France today voted against investigation of the 30 bio labs found in the Ukraine. If there is involvement with the pestilence, it cannot be investigated. It seems that the UN is only relevant to incriminate or impose sanctions. And I'm going to show you a larger image of that. That was what was submitted to the UN. 
and you can stop the show and go through that. It is very scary. And then we get to China and I listened to an economic commentator on a popular Afrikaans channel two days ago and he was talking about the contracts that were given to the Chinese from Sunroll and during his talk I immediately sensed his great aversion in the Chinese and he made mention of a lot of cuck that you see on mainstream media which is not real in China and then you get a post like this China Digital ID and facial recognition for students but it's for their health and sa safety and he is sarcastic about it Now I just look at these types of reports and I have to laugh How many Western countries has got access control at numerous places railway stations, airports Ah, fuck, I can't even try and mention it all but because the Chinese is doing it it is now sinister This, they, the media makes a big story about national surveillance in social credits in China I listened to a guy that lives in China he's been living there for 14 years and he explained that it is all bullshit we are being fed the same shit about China as they fed us about Russia and then we get to the Donbass and this is quite interesting this is Miroslav I spoke to him yesterday as he crossed the border into Crimea as a refugee he's from West Ukraine he left because it's too dangerous for him you can be beaten just for saying a wrong word there is no freedom of thinking in Ukraine as I crossed the border I inhaled freedom he said finding it easy to smile again I often find myself asking people if they are pro-Russian or pro-Ukrainian his was the best reply yet people describe me as pro-Russian but I'm just a young man who wants to live it's a civil war he said as people who come to this side support the Russian policy those who stay in the Ukraine support the Ukrainian policy I think people simply lack the full truth there is a big difference in the way the news is presented both in Russia and Ukraine and I found that quite interesting and there was a lot of commentators in there and the usual mudslinging and so forth but this is this young man's own words and then we get to this Ukraine conflict at the city cemetery in Kherson journalists found traces of possible mass graves how many people are buried there is still unknown first deputy interior minister Yevgeny Yenin said that it was too early to talk about the discovery of mass graves and liberated territory of Kherson region and I handled this in a previous skit mark and uh, the journalist that was there, the Canadian journalist and she said that this is all bullshit that it's mass graves and then you see this now this is part of the filtration that they are currently doing in Kherson now let me talk about Kherson for a second everybody in Kherson had the opportunity to be evacuated and a lot of them decided they're going to stay behind and then they started with this filtration I believe there's literally dozens of pro-Russian people labeled as pro-Russian by the Ukrainians that has been executed already and the young men that were jubilating and dancing around the soldiers the Ukrainian soldiers they received their call-up papers this morning so now they've got to go and fight Kherson after the Ukrainian army entered the city we know that this is happening there this is the civil war sorry for the sad news maybe there will be better news in future and there you can see those that have been labeled pro-Russian 
tied to the poles and they will be executed. And then there's more Putin collaborators tied to lampposts and confronted by residents of Kherson. And then there's this little Spanish blogger. She is there in the Donbass. The lie of the media. Zelensky has brought peace to Kherson. Reality. Any person of Kherson who does not end up murdered as pro-Russian will be sent by Ukraine to the front. Meanwhile, in the republics, Russia decrees the demobilization of students. And that is the reality. And, as I've said a few times already, the Western taxpayers must be very happy. They should look at pictures like this and then pour themselves another round of drinks because this is what their tax money is doing. Shelling civilians in Donetsk city. And then we get to this. Now, we all, many of us should have seen, must have seen the jubilation, jubilation parties when the Ukraine soldiers walked into Kherson. And then there was this guy that made a big story. How Ukraine did meetings of happiness in Kherson is the title here. This was a guy that sang the praise leader songs for Ukraine. In a video filmed by Agents France Press, an allegedly enthusiastic Kherson resident declares that there is no electricity, water, communication in the city, but he is very happy that he has, he has freed himself from Russians. The subject, identified as Evgeny Nikolaevich Ponden, residing in Kiev, is the commander of a company of National Guard, Military Unit 3030, probably arrived in Kherson to carry out repressions. Well, at the same time, start for Western videos. And there you have it. Someone sent me a link just after the Kherson thing, very sarcastically, and said, how do they fake this? Well, I've got news for you. This is how they fake. And then there's more pictures of filtration in Kherson, nationalist group punishers carried out a mop-up in Kherson. Local Bandera members turned in those who were helping the Russian army. We do not know the fate of these people. But there has been many reports on Telegram of how the people are executed. And then we get to the EU. And this first image, you must look very carefully at it. This is the Italian minister Maria Elena Boschi signing up for her new government position. In my humble opinion, it is the wrong choice of shoe color to wear with that suit in such an important occasion. And look at those shoes. And you guys, look at the shoes. Do you agree? Is the shoe color wrong? And then more from the EU and this Russian sense of humor. Breaking. The Siberian tour operator visiting the bear. The subsidiary of a in tourist started offering hot winter tour packages to Russia for EU citizens. The package includes unlimited hot showers, heated room with electricity, Ruskaya Banya, Red Caviar and Vodka. And look at that. And here is a bigger image of the poster. I love it. And I think it must make some Europeans fucking angry. And then we get this. The EU legislator takes a shot at Serbia over the RT broadcast. The EU Parliament's Serbia reporter Vladimir Bulcic criticized the country's government for allowing the broadcast of RT. Bulcic described the move as contrary to Serbia's commitment to work on alignment with EU foreign policy. Where the fuck does that EU come from to dictate things like this to everybody? Serbia is not part of the EU. And then we have this. The U.S. attacked Libya and others. Europe suffers the consequences. U.S. attacking Middle East. Europe suffers the consequences. U.S. attack Russia via Ukraine proxy. Europe suffers the consequences. Europeans, 
Do you understand the pattern? I don't think they understand the pattern. They are zombies. And then we get to the gender thing. And this was quite, for me, I, I was surprised when I saw this from Tucker Carlson. Gender and race detransitioner decries LGBT propaganda in the West schools. Only London, who recently identified as a Korean woman, is now transitioning back into a British man and is speaking out against the radical ideology which teaches children to idolize weak men and erodes the alpha straight male. London told Fox Tucker Carlson he had fallen victim to the social programming and is undoing his surgery just six months after undergoing the procedure, vowing to speak up for children suffering gender dysphoria. dysphoria. And I remember this guy, there was big stories when he came out and uh, identified as a Korean woman. But look at the nonsense. Look at that. And tonight I don't have a specific what a fuck. But this one takes the place of what a fuck. Look at this shit. Look at it. Biological male wins women's division of US cycle cycling race. Can you believe it? This is how rotten society has gotten in the West. I cannot understand that the people don't realize that they are absolutely morally bankrupt. And I listened to a video of a woman that was talking to a school council, school board, and she said to them, if I say I identify as a cat, am I a cat? And everybody said, no. He said, exactly. So how can a man, a male, identify as a woman? It's biologically impossible. But we have all seen it. There's no more room for logics and common sense. And it was as if the pestilence shit has deprogrammed all people. Common sense is out of the door and they are zombies. And on that, please give me a like, a subscribe and a share. Thank you for your support.